Hi, my name is Alan Lamont. This video is about Alex Jones. But I'm also going to explain what is happening on the internet with all of these agents and what they're doing and what their agenda really is. Even though people are sincerely wanting to find out the truth about the New World Order, I understand that people watch Alex Jones as I did years ago. But we have to understand that really the agenda behind all of these agents on the internet is to give them publicity, okay? And they are funded by the New World Order, by the Illuminati, of course they are. You know, that's why they are in position, that's why they're the most well known, that's why they're the ones that have the most recognition on the internet, and especially YouTube, of course, is because actually what they're bringing is what's called black propaganda. You know, it's really psychological warfare, you know, it's disinformation. So it's not accurate information that we're actually being given, even though on a lot of levels they will bring accurate information. What they won't do is tell you who is in control, you know, of the New World Order and the Illuminati and of course the, the you know, Vatican global government. They don't explain who's really behind all of this. So, for instance, Alex Jones, he really acts the way he does is because he acts crazy to put people off the New World Order movement. That is his deception and that is the game that he's playing on you know his broadcast on Prison Planet, Alex Jones show, that's what he does. He also brings a lot of hype, you'll see that, you know, with Pierce Morgan and, you know, Ron Paul. Why is that? It's to get people obviously believing that they're patriots, they're for the American Constitution and you know Alex Jones is you know, obviously bringing out continuously continuously how you know we need to uphold the Constitution defend the Constitution when in reality his behavior you know in acting as crazy as he does is to put people back to sleep is to put people back into a place where they completely think it's all conspiracy theories and you know obviously for instance take Alex Jones and his behavior you know, shouting and crying and screaming and, you know, banging his fists on the desk and screaming at the top of his lungs. All of this extreme, insane behaviour is to put people off the New World Order movement, as in the exposure of the NWO. So, you know, the average person that is, you know, completely dumbed down, doesn't know anything whatsoever, comes on the internet and finds out about the New World Order and sees this man screaming and crying and, you know, just, just in, in a rage, you know, an extreme rage. They just think that, you know, these people are mentally unbalanced, they're mentally unhinged, you know, they're completely, you know, untrustworthy, unreliable and act insane. So what do they do? Instantly they just switch off from the New World Order and think, well, you know, not only do I think it's a theory, but the people, you know, that are bringing these theories, they're completely insane, absolutely crazy in the way they behave. So they just move away from this whole movement. That's part of his black propaganda, okay? That's part of what Alex Jones is doing. But also, the other agenda is obviously to hide the true controllers, to really cover up the people who are actually in control to not give the real information about who they really are and Alex Jones doesn't really tell you who is in control okay that's the second agenda but also you know the third is really to bring out a lot of accurate information so it becomes credible and you know people rely on his material and those researching the NWO they dig into his research and bring out information and then they you know obviously bring that on the internet but they're going to a man who where does he get his information from the military intelligence of the CIA of course he does you know same with the mainstream media you know they're all controlled by uh, not just the CIA, of course you have a, you know, Homeland Security of the NSA, FBI, many organisations in this structure, but Alex Jones is a CIA agent and I want to bring that out to people really, you know, that uh, Alex Jones is working for the New World Order, that's the truth of it. And I'm going to direct you to a website, it's by uh, a man named... Thomas Richards and he's got a great website called spirituallysmart.com and you'll see the picture here right now of that article on that website also I'm going to leave a link on the description section of the video and you can go and look on this website and learn the truth about Alex Jones and his connection to the Vatican and the Jesuits and uh, you know what he's really hiding from you okay 
so go and look at that and uh, it's a great article really you know and your eyes will be opened when you read that article about him being a Jesuit temporal coadjutor connected with uh, you know the CIA and with the Knights of Malta and dig into that because your eyes will be truly opened once and for all if you're in any doubt about Alex Jones being an agent then you go and look at this website okay the last video I done was about Texi Mars and I explained his you know agenda because they all of course have a different agenda his agenda is you know primary agenda you know his black operation <laughs> as a disinformation agent is to you know cover for the Vatican of course to hide the fact that the Vatican and the Jesuits do control the New World Order but he always brings out the Jews always the Jews it's the Jews that rule it's the Rothschilds the all-powerful Rothschild you know Nathan Rothschild the Wizard of Oz he brings out this lie continuously you know so that people are diverted away from the true power of the Vatican and uh, of course you know there is no way on this earth that the Jews could actually control the entire one world government it's impossible the Rothschilds have only been a financial dynasty for 150 years so he doesn't talk about history in he, he talks about the Illuminati and he'll talk about uh, the fact that you know the Rothschilds funded the Illuminati but he won't go into the conspiracy of Adam Weishaupt the Jesuit he mentions him lightly you know he touches it lightly but the fact is that Adam Weishaupt you know he was not a Jew and he did not convert the Illuminati okay it was the black Pope working through Adam Weishaupt that's what happened you know so once again the Vatican is in control and they use Taxi Mars as an agent so you know it's about Alex Jones but it's also about all the other agents I mean they're all agents I'm telling you now anyone that has that much of a you know public following anyone that has that much promotion anyone that has millions of pounds behind them anyone that has that power and funding and you know influence on the internet is an agent of Rome they're agents and of course David Icke with his crazy reptilian moon theory you know that uh, really you know the world is controlled by you know reptilians that live under the earth they live in the moon they read our minds of course I'm not gonna waste time on Mr. Icke you know, it's obvious he's an agent. Obvious. But uh, what we have, just to bring a conclusion, is we have uh, an operation here <laughs> by the New World Order to discredit any true intelligent exposure of the New World Order. Okay? Because when people look at Taxi Mars, they'll realize, you know, they'll realize eventually. If they have discernment, they will realize. If they're true researchers and they look at accurate information and facts and they look at his material, they realize, no, the Jews cannot rule and they don't rule. It's the Vatican that rules over the whole Masonic Zionist structure. That's the truth, you know, through the Masonic Illuminati, of course. Same with Alex Jones. When people look at Alex Jones, you know, there is an exodus from Alex Jones right now. People know that on the internet. But there's still people that are listening to these agents. So that's why every now and again I'll bring out another video exposing them all. You know, Alex Jones is working for the Central Intelligence Agency. The CIA operation is actually called CIA Mockingbird. That's CIA Mockingbird. You can read that on the website by uh, Thomas Richards of SpiritlySmart.com, as I said previously. Now, Alex Jones is really there to you know as I've said bring accurate information but combine it with disinformation so that he is you know covering for and hiding the true controllers which is the central intelligence agency and everything monitored today everything's monitored that's the truth of it YouTube uh, you know uh, every you know internet search engine you know everything's monitored Facebook Twitter all of it you know Skype all of it they can read your emails they I mean they've got unlimited access to the internet they created it do you understand so the MI6 CIA all of these intelligence agencies they, they have the ability to just go right through the internet and bring censorship and you know shut down websites and just watch people all across the internet and monitor them and you know track them and find out what they know and who they're connected to so this is what's happening all the time that's why I'm independent that's why I, I don't come out do you understand I don't let people control me in the sense that I've had offers from people who are in the so-called alternative media and they want to expose you know the new world order many of them want to bring you into the radio broadcasts just to control you eventually smear you 
you know, with false accusations and try and discredit you with people coming in, you know, different callers trying to, you know, discredit you, saying that you don't have accurate facts, information, you're not spreading truth, you're not a truther, you're spreading lies and disinformation. And that's it, you know, you'll either be closed down, shut down, or people will move away from you. That's the way it works. There is some really great radio broadcasts out there that are not controlled opposition. Uh, but you've just got to be careful, you know, who you connect to because uh, you're known by association and there's a lot of, you know, uh, controlled opposition out there, to be honest with you. But people like Alex Jones, they have the most following simply because they are the ones that are really positioned by the CIA to bring their disinformation. And of course he has different methods of, uh, you know, dumbing down the sheeple because that's what it's about. Also, someone left a comment uh, a while ago about Alex Jones, how his other agenda is to, you know, move people into resistance, you know, he talks about we are the resistance, you know, we are the resistance movement, well, who does he want people to resist exactly with all of this rage and anger and, you know, against the American government, well, actually, is it the American government? The truth is that actually Alex Jones, you know, uh, this man made the comment and said that really what he's wanting people to do is rise up against the government so they'll bring martial law, I've always believed that, that's the real agenda as well. So there's many, you know, there's many methods that Alex Jones is using here, you know, to divert and to dumb down and to, you know, really control people's minds because that's what it is. Friends, this is psychological warfare, you know, on a big scale, big time with Alex Jones, you know, reaching millions of people. That's why you have a... Uh, I mean, he's connected to, obviously, Pat Buchanan, who's a knight of Malta, but he brings Rothschilds on his show, and he has this whole, you know, staged event with uh, Pierce Morgan, you know, to make them look, you know, anti-NWO, true patriots, true NWO exposers. It's all deception. All deception. And, of course, like I said, people are coming away from Alex now. You know, honestly, in the thousands now. They've had it, they've seen it, they realise what it is, you know. And they realise that really he is putting people off the New World Order. And uh, just to touch back on the resistance movement, what he wants ultimately also is for people to rise up against the government. But actually, isn't it true that whoever is behind this, I'm not talking about just the CIA, I'm not just talking about, you know, the CFR, I'm talking about the ones in real power, the controllers, you know, the Jesuits, the Vatican of Rome, you know. It's the Jesuits that want the people to eventually rise up against the New World Order. They knew 9-11 would eventually be exposed. So they blame it on the government, the CFR, Skull and Bones, Bilderbergs, anyone and everything but Rothschilds, everything else. Everything but the truth, you know. Everything but exposing the Jesuits. Everything but exposing the Black Papacy, the Vatican today, you know, that wants to destroy the American government. You know, they want to eventually remove, you know, the liberties of the people of America. So they'll cause them to rise up and then they'll bring martial law then they'll bring absolute control over the population of America okay so there's, there's many agendas that Alex Jones have and I've explained them here but uh, this is what's really happening okay all across the internet you have you know uh, John Maxwell you have Thomas Horn you have uh, as I've said Texie Mars Alex Jones you have, you know, David Icke, there's many, many others, of course, you have Leo Zagami, you have all of these men, okay, who come across as whistleblowers, you know, experts in exposing the New World Order, uh, anti-NWO, truthers, all of these so-called agents I've mentioned right now, they're all working for the Illuminati, all of them, all of them, you know. And of course, they have to bring a lot of accurate information. You find every one of them at some level either leads into occult mysteries or they lead into Nephilim, you know, or they need to lead into, you know, UFOs or, you know, they lead into, you know, reptilians. It goes on and on and on and on and on. What we need to do, guys, is do our own research, do our own digging, look at true facts and true evidence and information from researchers who are really exposing the truth, okay? not bringing disinformation, they're not bringing a black operation, they're not bringing psychological warfare and mind control, okay? Okay, thanks for listening, my name is Alan Lamont, and as always, all roads lead to Rome.